Yeah, you're angry because, because you're doing it on purpose and you know it. No end for reasons that are complete mystery to me, but they do. But yet I do it to assert my first amendment right to fucking do it. And for really no other reason. Because, you know, until Mariah started doing it and they erased her heart, I didn't give a fuck about chalking. It was, it was when they started, you know, they started infringing upon her right to speak that I said, okay, I'm going to do this because I need to make the point that it's okay to do it. So your reason wasn't, I'm going to do this just to make them look angry? Yeah. Well, not to make them angry, but to make a point. And the reality is when you make a good point, the people who disagree with you are going to get pissed off. But there's a difference between making a good point and having people just happenstance get pissed off, uh, and then intentionally, like, let me see what I can do to fucking piss everybody off this week so that they're fucking motivated to do shit against me. That's I, my problem. One, one thing that really concerns me, and it happens all the time, is people need to realize that things are going to be taken out of context, and you need to make sure you, anything you do, you kind of have to frame in context. Because if, if you wear a t-shirt that says something that's kind of like an inside joke or, you know, that you kind of already have to know about Austrian economics or something, you know, if, 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 if you have, if, if, if you, you need to be able to, like, if you're wearing a t-shirt, you have to be able to take that t-shirt and, like, show it to random people on the street and see if they get it. Yeah, before. if you wore a short shirt that said, I part sweatshop labor, right? Like, a lot of people would get really upset about that, right? And then you could say, well, no, actually, because, you know, sweatshops actually are the, some of the best-paying jobs in this area, and if you take them away, then these people won't have jobs. I mean, and it's unfortunate that some of the things I said, you know, people just outright reject it. Like, it's an opportunity to have a conversation with somebody that, like, look, yeah, the police are a violent, dangerous criminal organization that kidnap and murder people. And instead, they say, oh, no, 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 I don't associate with that guy. And, you know, instead of actually, like, having that discussion with people, it's an opportunity to have a chat. And a lot of people have taken that opportunity. And I think it's a shame that it's not happening here, because if it should be happening anywhere, this is it. I mean, the, 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 the message that I'm trying to drive home is that the government is a violent, dangerous criminal organization, and it should be treated like one. So if, if people get upset about that, I'm not fucking surprised. They should be upset. The people who support it are going to be upset because they support the government, and other people should start getting upset because they're seeing that the government is what it is. And look, if <laughs> that's, that's, it's a consistent message of non-aggression that's meeting hundreds of thousands of people. I just think I can't understand but Chris, why you got to admit, admit though, your, your headlines in your articles do that same thing, like I heart sweatshops. Yeah. If, and most people aren't going to read the read the articles. If, if and, I understand and, most people, and I mean, I, I go back. Most to, people aren't going to be libertarians. I go back to Derek J and the crossing guard. Derek J was just taking B roll. Right. He starts taking B roll as soon as he turns on the camera. The, the crossing guard, you know, up in his face and all that. And everyone took that out of context. Everyone's oh, Derek J is attacking the crossing guard. Derek yeah. J was taking B roll. That's the most one of the most hated videos. Of yeah. Them all time. Yeah, yeah, Derek J wasn't angry in that case at all, and you're going to upset people. I don't think yeah. anger is a valuable thing for people no. to have. I think it's important to get over Unless the it anger gets action. and find compassion, mm -hmm. but I don't think that should be a, a, a crux issue on whether or not someone can come to the KAC. I think that if somebody's angry, being around peaceful people can help with that anger. Uh, being around people who can model uh, positivity and peace is, uh, is a useful thing. Let me give a third reason that I heard can't work. <laughs> We were, we were saying that there's, it's sad that there's no good discussion of the finer point of the map. Well, Cantwell, just by his presence here, has provoked some anger, but he's also provoked a wonderful discussion. I, I withdraw all objection to putting this online, because this has been a great exposition of the map, of the limits of the map, and the different ideas and issues we might have. And it also exposes that we're all individuals here and that each of us has different ideas. And hey, I'm yeah, sure yeah. I, I mean you and I have uh, different uh, ideas about the map to show you know um do you wanna I make up notes if I differ from this yes. like, I'm probably closer so to that. Cantwell than anybody yes. else politically and um you know, uh, Cantwell and Ian, I would say, are the, are the two closest to me. And of course, they don't agree on everything either. Um, and when we, and then you know, and then that makes for interesting discussions, like we've seen at yeah. convention and on Free Talk Live, Thanks. and that creates, and it's something that you know, people will literally buy tickets to come and see. I mean, it's it's 
important to have these conversations, and, and I think it's you know it's really unfortunate that the, the answer I'm most frequently met with as I bring these things up is shut up, right? This is the answer that I get when I bring up these points for the most part, is that people are just like, don't say that, get out of here, right? And I'm, I'm raising important you know issues, and I think if you know people have opposition to those points, then you know that's a fine conversation to have. You know, I, I've agreed that I wouldn't have those conversations here, but anybody wants to come across the street and have them have to do that. You know, this is important. And if people don't want to, you know, address it, if you want to set your standard as we don't address use of force. Well, in just a, in to be a, clear, any ban on you know, doesn't it's lifted. The old rule about you not having those conversations was because certain people were objecting to that. Those people aren't really present anymore. So I wouldn't think that a conversational ban yeah, I would okay. object to placing any limit on on, uh, on conversation here, except that it remain within the bounds of civility, because we do, and that it is a membership agreement, agreement, because civility is treating each other with respect, and yeah. and that that limit I, I appreciate on on conversations here, but I mean if you can't debate the finer points of the map and its limits at the keen activist center, then what are the well, if, I was I was going to say where can you go to do it, but the answer is cross the street. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the, you know, if, you're, if, if anybody's talking about the non-aggression principle, they're not necessarily raising a question of force, right? Because the non-aggression principle says this is the line at which force is justified. If you're not if you're not going to discuss where that line is, then you're really not having an honest conversation about libertarianism. You're really not having an honest conversation about. Uh, the non-aggression principle. The, the, the entire question of it is when force is justified. And if you disagree with me on when force is justified, then try to change my opinion on it because it wouldn't be the first time it happened, right? Like I've I've changed opinions, you know, a number of times over the course of the last five years. So if somebody wants to present me with, you know, arguments, I'm I'm happy to, you know, have those conversations. And if uh, if I'm finding logical flaws in what I'm saying, then I'm happy to change okay. positions. That just hasn't happened yet. And uh, so, John, so I got a question for you. Sure. Before we go. Um, you blocked him on both proposals, correct? The uh, proposal to rescind and the proposal for membership. What, um, what would it take to get you to unblock on the proposal to rescind and, and allow him to move from that seat to this seat? Wait, what? Oh, the fence. <laughs> let, him, let, him, let him hop the fence. Yeah. No, I, I think I still, uh, I'm still of the opinion that I, I don't believe, I believe that the character in the blog still is one that is advocating violence. Is, advocating, is advocating violence by, by making violent people more violent. Should uh, Ademo also be banned from KAC as I well as Amish Paul? I would probably support that. I thought about it online, actually, as I've seen some of the demo's rhetoric online. I've had that thought with that. Well, a demo I previously rescinded his membership right. on this issue, so... But, yeah, a lot of activism, though, has made angry people angry, like, you know, you know, Robin Hood and Garrett. I mean, these people attack because of the anger over that. I think so banning I'm people right. for having the position or a similar position in Cantwell is a really unnecessary step. I think step. there's a huge difference between and having a position and openly advocating it with the intent to make angry people angrier, so that they will, you know, that they're going to attack, and that they're going to go on the, they're going to go on the offensive. But isn't that one? Well, what's the, where where, are you, where are you inferring the intent from? Because the instructions in the articles are the exact opposite of what you're saying. My intention is. The instruction you you have instructions what? in your articles specifically in the status to say, hey, don't attack people based on my article. That seems kind of well, close. my my my. If, as yeah, far as status same. attacking peaceful people, my my point is not initiation of force. So I'd say I'm pretty strongly condemning uh, initiation of force. When I'm talking about people responding to status force with their own force, I'm actually saying like probably don't want to go ahead and do that because you'll get yourself killed. So you what is that. it? Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not. I, I believe that there's a problem here. That uh, there's a perception that goes against what I've actually said. And that, uh, look, you're, like I said, you're welcome to set any standard you want, but if you're saying something that's factually accurate, I'd just like you to be factually accurate about it. So if, the, if you're saying that my intent is to make people angry so they will attack, 
if you're talking about status attacking us, well, I strongly condemn initiatory reports, so I don't see how that is the case. If you're talking about us attacking status, my instructions are very specific not to do this. I asked you earlier whether or not your articles in your blog were, it's, it, at, at times, intentionally designed to make status angry. Your response to that was yes. Yes. So if you're, you're and that is what I have a problem with. Okay, so if, you're, if your problem is with anger, then fine. Then set that standard and say that I don't want anger. But if, you're, if your statement is one of intent, then you're assigning incorrect intent to me. Oh, huh. so you just said you had the intent to make status angry. I did say that I had the intent to make them angry. Intent, intent so you said it the intent to make yeah. them attack. No, that's the words that came out of your mouth, and that is incorrect. That is factually inaccurate. But isn't there something to be said for a blogger who's writing incendiary articles to drive traffic to the book? I mean, isn't there some, like, exemption that you would make for that? Because, like, that is, of course, what leads leads. And, and of course, he's just doing a job. I, I think it does great to drive traffic and whatnot, but not when it comes to the cost of no, no. I don't think so. We just don't want to live like that. I think Shall we like? Shall we also forbid the passive aggressive crap that's going on in scene right now that's making status angry? And honestly, I think I'm going to be talking about it too. What do you define as passive aggressive? Because I don't think that for, for the record, activism is one thing, but or will be specifically trying to. I, I think I think the vast majority of what I've seen from Garrett is that it's a tally and probably. Garrett is not passive aggressive, but uh, you know, at times. Garrett totally provokes the people who hate yeah. the job. Yeah. Garrett pokes that yeah. tiger. Garrett is doing exactly what you're saying that uh, Cantwell is doing. So, and I don't have a problem with it. I'm, yeah. I'm not trying to throw you under the bus, but I am pointing out that there is a concrete example of Garrett using chalk right in front of the people who hate it in order to get them angry and get them to respond right. to it. And I loves agree. the response and the conflict. I agree. Yeah. No, no, That's no, the point I was trying to say. I guess I'm not as eloquent as anybody. He told you not to show off, right? And he said, oh, we were giving you the warning. Well, that's because he made a threat. Well, if he made a threat, shouldn't you have okay, de-escalated that conflict and walked that, away from it if you're trying to promote peace? Well, 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 shouldn't you try and be trying to de-escalate conflicts? Why are you guys getting yourselves you know, in all this trouble with the townsfolk? Shouldn't you be de-escalating those conflicts and stopping this activity that the people behave negatively towards? For all the talk about de-escalation, I don't see much of it from you. Because he wrote the satanic verses, I would welcome him to come here and speak. The distinction is, I don't know that he did challenge that I see would be a legitimate true challenge, like called civil diss or whatever. Well, I wasn't bringing up the challenge as well, by the way. I was talking about the top freaking people. I'm talking about the townspeople. I've never gone to find them to chalk in front of them. I've always been chalking and they've approached and done something. Well, shouldn't you just walk away? Shouldn't you de-escalate the situation? Well, it depends on whether you've been chalking. Because there's not a unit. See, this is, there's no philosophical consistency here. There's that's not, what I'm pointing out. Yeah, yeah. But it, he's never going to confess well, to it either. I think that there's a so, huge right. difference between doing activism. That you, you're doing chalking. You're not well, I'm just going up to them and saying, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a media well, personality. These are people who come to his blog and read his ideas. So that's not <laughs> going up to somebody and saying, fuck you. That's writing fuck you on a blog and somebody comes to do it. Yeah, and blogging is activism. Like, I, I posted like, an article, or tried to post an article, it never went online, that said, John Webb, and in quotes, stop a riot. Okay, so do we think year. that there's no and difference? I intended to piss him off with that article. So do we think he that pissed me off by putting me in jail? <laughs> so do we think that there's no difference in voice and tone between Free Keen and between ChrisCantwell.com? There's, there's a difference in voice and tone, but if your standard is pissing people off, then we got to stop pretty much everything that goes on here. I don't get your point. We all need to leave because of our presence. The point in asking that question is I think that Free Keen is documenting activism. And one, well, Free Keen also pisses people off. It's not the intent. And that's where the question of intent comes from. not accurate. J.J. Schlesinger's keynote speech at Keen Mention said Keen activism is all about pissing people off. Off, and the whole room of law to get for saying. J.J. Yeah, yeah. Schlesinger at fucking at Keen mentioned his the words out of his mouth were Keen <laughs> activism is all about pissing people off. The entire room applauded it. So let's just not pretend 
that this is something other than it is. We're going out there, we're doing things that we know piss people off, we're doing it anyway, and then we're documenting them when they react poorly to it. And then we put it on the internet. That's not so different from what I'm doing. My yep. public a a defender has his email tagline, a line from, uh, from Justice uh, Frankfurter, where he says, to paraphrase, that liberty is largely created by people who aren't always nice. Um, and I wish I had the exact quote, but it's true. And H.L. Yeah. Mencken said, uh, the problem with defending human freedom is one spends most of one's time defending scoundrels, because it is against scoundrels that laws are first aimed, and tyranny must be stopped at the beginning if it is to be stopped at all. And look, the truth of the matter is, I expect to be prosecuted for my blog. Okay, it's, a, it's an act of civil disobedience, and I fully expect that you know something terrible is going to happen to me as a result, which is one of the reasons that there's a sign on my door that says, please don't bring anything illegal. Okay? Hey, Start your defense for now. It's harder to raise money for you. Yeah, I'm. If I start saying, "Give me money for an attorney for one day that I might be prosecuted," I, I'm not sure that that would be the most successful fundraiser. I, you know, I, I raise think donations you probably through have my website. To have, uh, somebody else do it who is. Uh, you know, transparent. What's that? Well, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. But the, but the, the yeah. 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 we don't need to start discussing my fundraising options right now. <laughs> okay. But is that civil disobedience evolution fund? What's that? That's yeah. <laughs> not around anymore. Yeah, they don't so, always make the evil shit. You know, and and the and the and the thing that's the thing okay. that's happened here, you know, and it's and it's unfortunate is that, you know, what when when that does happen, uh, you know, I would I would like to think that there would be support for me to, you know, say what I think on a blog that bears my own name and nobody else's and is shared through either uh, only through my page and whoever else chooses to share it. Uh, this is, you know, this is a thing that's probably going to happen at some point. Should you put one of those disclaimers on your blog that says, these are the views of Christopher Cantwell, not the views of the Free State Project or Free King? Well, <laughs> my, my <laughs> website has my name on it. It's not Free State Project or Free King. That might be what we want to put. <laughs> these are the views so, of Christopher Cantwell, the comedian, not Christopher Cantwell, the guy that Well, there's there's right. a lot of you a know, obfuscation in that, and that it's marketed as an entertainment website and stuff like that. These things will be brought up at my trial, most likely, but that's not the strategy that I aim to discuss. The, the, the fact of the matter is, is that you know, I'm 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 saying things that I think are important to say. Saying these things puts my life in danger, and you know, and it causes me problems in my interpersonal relationships. And this is one of them. Uh, but I, there need to be said. You were asked to come over here to answer some questions, and I'm curious if those questions have been answered. Okay. The, the, I'm asking the question. If, if, are there any other questions for I'm me? Might be not in an affirmative response. Are there any other questions? And if not, then I will leave you to your business. Well, I would like to make a statement before you go, which is I thank you and everybody involved for keeping this discussion within the bounds of civility and not resorting to name calling and, and all that. Obviously, people were angry, people were excited, but we were peaceful people about it, and nobody initiated force or even initiated an ad hominem. So, yeah, Ruby. that's pretty cool, yeah. Pretty cool <laughs> Initiation of that should be a phrase. So, no more questions for yeah. Chris for this week? I mean, like, we, this is probably going to be discussed yes. next Saturday as well, right? I, I, I suspect it will. No, and then the Saturday after that, and the Saturday after that, and then if the ban winds up getting lifted, it'll get discussed every day that Chris is around. Okay. Because uh, uh, beating a dead horse is what we do, it seems. We could call it sadistic equine necrophilia, but that would be beating a dead horse. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> well, um, if, there, if there are no further questions for me, then I'll exit stage left. Uh, okay. I'll okay. Right. I'll exit stage left. Thorough exhaustion. That's like the uh, uh, wires there. Are we discussing, like, members of yeah. No, we're good. But I do see irony in the fact that, you know, there are people like now here, and I'm not for banning these people, but there are people that believe in, like, low-level taxation, and that, that's cool, like, people are cool with that, but that's for violence, that's the people that believe in actual for violence, and people are cool with hanging out with these people, they're afraid of the person that's, that's you know, talking about the tens of floors, and it's, it's so bad. That is backwards. Because uh, I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to ban these people, because they're, they're going to go, these are the people that are going to come to work. There's no ban on men artists.
burn lives. Well, anyway, that's a, that's a strong argument, Grayson. I would say, you know, the people who are putting up blogs for Catwell ought to answer the question either in their own head or in public about about minarchists and associating with minarchists. <coughs> Support violence. So should we ban okay. Keith for being a Republican? Hey, so what if Chris right Cantwell doesn't understand? I have spoken uh, previously in the past in favor of the FSB banning people who are against immigration. Well, then you're just picking and choosing I, what sort of things... Well, I, I think specifically because the FSB is an immigration movement that it's a critical <laughs> Fair that. point. My my uh, my tolerance for minarchy is that, or minarchists is that they tend oh, to right. believe that more violence would occur in the complete absence of violence, right. which is paradoxical. What's course. the difference between a minarchist and an anarchist? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I I think about Kent, six months. Yeah. I think Cantwell would argue though that uh, less violence would occur if people implemented what he's saying. Yeah. I see no difference between. Um, <laughs> What Chris Cantwell would say if what <coughs> one out of two people <coughs> shot cops, you know, the cops would oh, shoot more. Oh, it's much worse. I mean, it's just I don't know. Agree with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, I and I think that's because we're putting up lots of things that are going on the grapple with that. The issue of the illusion of the justice. And how certain behaviors allow the state to say, I don't want to differ. But you have to answer in your own hand publicly why you would associate and accept minarchists in the AAC who do support violence, but not... Joe's an anarchist. Yes. Okay, so, 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 so that's so we might as well try to moving on. Yeah, Saturday drive is, is up next to us. Yeah, I mean, all right. I'm not trying to throw that in the me, but I think this is <laughs> this is something to consider for next week. And I support you being a member, Joe. I'm not trying to throw you under the bus. Yeah. Can I propose I one more thing for members meeting? Like, can, we, can we please ban Graham? Like, please. He's in jail. I don't think. Uh, oh, right, but I'm so fucking tired. Right, no, no, he resigned. Yeah, and he was on the porch last week. But, and but, again, he starts but, running his mouth but, about. Renee, that before you get into the details, Renee, we can actually really? just put it down because you proposed it. What is he doing down there? Because I'm so tired of this shit. I have another issue with Lawman. Support it, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? Go on. So before if someone is willing to do the labor, the labor will be accepted. If you guys can get materials, I will do labor just because I like to make it. Okay. Um, now on, on the proposition to add a ban for Graham, uh, and anyone else wanting to be on that list of people banning him. Uh, so no one wants to ban Graham. <laughs> That's surprising. I'm on this list. Because I mean, he's, now he's going downtown and Bruna can attest. I mean, he got into a fight with some kid last week. He's all peaceful and shit, yet he's still getting into physical <coughs> fights that I so guess was consensual. Is Graham a peaceful person? No. 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 <laughs> okay, so maybe you should be banned. You're yeah. right. You're right. <laughs> I don't like supporting bands because it's yeah. feel like a Nazi. I'm with you. I think it's a natural <laughs> process that happens on a natural <laughs> basis. Yeah, people don't want to be around someplace where they're not wanted. It just yeah. naturally happens. It doesn't have to be like a... Right, yeah, but he comes here to piss people off. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Renee. Last time he was here, I didn't hang out with him. You chose to. No, I walked outside on my porch and he said something to me. Upstairs, oh, Jesus. Oh, alright. So, Free Rock, did you see my latest project? Alright, yeah. What's this guy? Is awesome? Yeah. I'm I support it. <laughs> I, I, think, I, think, I, think, I want to save the user interface. Like, like, oh, yeah, but I mean, I oh, got it's fucking It is bomb. Right? You saw the most recent thing, right? Dude, it is fucking I just saw the project. Yeah, yeah, you should check it out. Oh, it's no, awesome. No, this is better. This is wait what? The most exciting thing. It's, it's gonna change things. <laughs> For sure. Wait, wait, wait. Well, he was so so like the river. Are we still on the river? No. Okay, just you two talking. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Oh, you guys were the best. Only as a guest. If someone actually like invited me to come 
I'm exhausted. Yeah, we we work out today. the cat? Way too fat. What? I'm going the cat or for what? So I can Right. What, what is it? That's a part of the membership project. Yeah, he was waiting on Matt Roach to pick him up. Well, I don't think he was anyone to pick a guest. He was. He's not allowed to be an actual guest. Is that supposed to be what's happening? Uh, <coughs> supposed to be in unless you're a guest. Hey, James? Yes, sir. Uh, we've not changed the door code since Graham was a member, right? Right, that's how he showed himself in. Alright. Okay, so maybe the door code needs changed, that way he can't just walk in. Super fat. Uh, I would support that. Do you work in person? Uh, they are downstairs in the basement, uh, on the table with the surveillance stuff. Eight six seven five three zero nine. That's how you call Jenna. Eh? <laughs> Jenna. Jenna. Alright, so are we on Saturday guys now? Uh, I'm still signing on to change the door code. Oh, that's not anything that gets voted on. That's more just something that. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, nearby. I thought we kind of started humorously using state as garbage. Um, I'm just putting it up as a facility. Okay. Yeah. What happens now with the day on Monday? What happens? Wait a week. <laughs> It'll get posted. <laughs> wait a week to see if anybody's like, no, we should totally let this guy that resigned his membership coming out. Someone who wants to be a